everybody. Welcome to Mr. Ben's world. And now it'd be me, Mr. Ben. Um, there's been a lot of talk lately about COVID-19. Uh, SARS-CoV-2, which causes COV or COVID-19. Anyway, people have been asking me what I'm going to do, if it's going to affect me or if I'm scared or worried about it. I'm not worried about it. I'm not scared about it. But there's always a possibility it will affect me. Here in the south of Thailand, there are not that many people. It's not like Bangkok or one of the other big cities. So down here, I'm not that worried about it. My greatest fear, I think, would be that uh, people start canceling, start canceling flights back to the United States that connect through cities like uh, Seoul, South Korea, or uh, Taiwan. And the reason I'm worried about that is because I have a flight scheduled on April 17th that connects through Taiwan. But everything I've read about it and heard about it says that wearing a mask is really not helpful. The only time you should wear a mask is if you have symptoms and are coughing or sneezing so you don't transmit it to other people. I guess the other uh, possible advantage to it would be that uh, you won't touch your face and your nose and you know spread spread anything to yourself that way. But the greatest things you can do from what I've read and heard is wash your hands, get enough sleep, and uh, just don't worry. <laughs> I'll move so they can uh, have this bench all to themselves. Anyway, this, uh, this next week, I'm leaving Monday to go up to Bangkok for a few days. My brother and his wife are coming over from the Philippines. Uh, they'll be in Bangkok for like three days. You can go to the Philippines very easily and you can stay for three years on a tourist visa. You just have to keep renewing it and renewing it. But after three years, you need to leave the country. And uh, then when you come back, you start the process all over again. It can stay another three years. And that's what they're doing. So while they're in Bangkok, I'm going to go up and uh, hopefully help them get around a little bit. Although I'm not an expert on Bangkok by any, by any means. I did spend a week there, now yeah, four days there in 2003 and I hope to show them some of the things I saw the Grand Palace Wat Po and maybe even get them up to Ayutthaya so they can see the old ruins of the uh, old imperial city let's just stroll and look around I'm not a very talkative person, so this walk and talk format maybe is not a good idea for somebody like me. Gonna walk past some more horses here. 
Well, back there you have the cat and mouse statues. And some horses. You can ride those. Hello. You can ride those around and if you want to pay a little bit. I don't know if the horses are happy. I really don't know how they're treated. I hope they're treated well. Got some nice bird calls going on too. It's about 5.30. Sun will go down in about an hour. But the temperature is very nice. And the breeze off the ocean always makes things nice. You know, one thing I like about Thailand is the Buddhist culture. The uh, Buddhism, you know, has a very tolerant outlook. If you make mistakes, it's no big deal. You learn from it and move on with your life. I guess they do have a hell because if you go to some of the temples, they have depictions of people being tormented, but it's not emphasized like it is in Christianity and I guess like Islam. But they seem very accepting, very gentle, usually. <laughs> of course there are exceptions. And uh, I just like the way the culture is non-judgmental. They don't care if you're Buddhist, they don't care if you're Christian. They really don't care if you're Muslim. Uh, the only time they care is if somebody causes trouble. Uh, they accept foreigners freely. They, they don't look down on us. They accept us. I've always felt welcome in Thailand. One of the reservations I have about going to the Philippines is it's Catholic majority and Catholicism is the official religion of the country. And Christians can be quite judgmental and uh, not quite very willing to accept people who have different beliefs than theirs. So I worry about that a little bit because uh, as a non-religious person, I don't want to, uh, I don't want people to get upset and I don't want people to treat me differently because of it. In uh, Thailand, whenever I tell people that I don't have a religion, I don't believe in a God, they look at me like I'm crazy and say, how can you not believe in a God? And I say, I just don't see evidence to convince me that there is a God. I believe that science can explain everything except what it doesn't know. And what it doesn't know yet, I think it probably will eventually. But to uh, say that God did it because you can't explain it otherwise doesn't make sense to me. Anyway, I don't believe in a God, but I'm not totally counting one out either. If uh, at some point in the future I see compelling evidence that there is a God, I will accept it. But until then, I don't uh, feel like living my life 
living, potentially living for something that might happen after I die, but nobody can verify it. Nobody's been there and come back and told about it. People have dreams, dreams, visions. Uh, people have all kinds of feelings. But you know, people who are Hindus and people who are Muslims and people who are Christians and people who are Buddhists and other religions as well also have feelings and visions. So uh, I think it's a human thing and not a God thing. Anyway, I kind of got off track there, but now you know that about me. Uh, maybe we'll explore that more further uh, in another video. Anyway, I'm going to walk up over the mountain again and uh, go back to my apartment. Somebody's having a birthday party down on uh, Sea Suda, so uh, I might go down and do that. Anyway, this has been Mr. Ben's World, and I have been Mr. Ben. I still am Mr. Ben, but... Uh, I will talk to you next time. Take care.